my young and the restless fans, we got another episode to unpack, so let's jump into it. Tessa and Mariah learn Delphine is in labor. Lily eavesdrop on Daniel and Devon. And Sally is surprised by Nick's response to her confession. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is the young and the restless recap for February 6th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So let's start out over at the Grand Phoenix where we see Sally and Nick is in bed. And though Nick already knows Sally and Adam slept together, she tells him that his brother could also be the father. Now he says, you know what? I was wondering who was going to bring it up first. Now she seems surprised that he already figured that one out. And she's sorry that she waited to tell him that not only that she was pregnant, but also about this. And Sally says he's been amazing. And she assures that it was just that one time with Adam. She knew it wasn't going to work with him. And she wonders if fate would be that cruel to make him the father. Wow, Sally. Now, Nick thinks fate can have also an interesting sense of humor. Really, Nick? Now, he's been down this exact same road before and knows that it's not easy for anyone. You sure have. Then Nick gets dressed and they talk about how messy this whole situation is. But he tells her not to worry, to focus on her and the baby. And then he gets her into bed and jokes that he'll leave his monster spray with her. They kiss. Now when she asks for advice, he says he thinks she should tell Adam the truth. And she agrees. And he leaves and she leaves a message for the clinic to get a paternity test. <laughs> So speaking of Adam over at Crimson Lights, Tucker sees Adam and tries to make a choice of pastries. Now, Adam says everything is delicious. He asks, well, why are you here? Uh, coffee and contemplation, he says. Now, Tucker goes, buy him a treat. They eat brownies and drink coffee and joke about all the villains getting their just desserts alone. Now, the peaceful man is never alone, according to Tucker. He admits that he's trying to evolve, but he keeps misjudging situations and underestimating those in his life. He thought being honest would hinder his cause and is bitten him in the butt. Now, Adam asked about Dom and Ashley. What happened there? Tucker calls himself arrogant, and Adam opens up reluctantly about losing someone he loved to a family member. Tucker groans, but advises that hope springs eternal. And then guess who strolls into the door all smug? Nick. Nick finds both the men enjoying coffee, and Tucker thought it was past Nick's bedtime. The men laugh at Nick's expense, and Tucker leaves. Now, Adam says, as he told Jack about Nick's tip and thanks him for the heads up. Now, Nick hopes Jack has his brother's back and Adam wants to talk about Sally. Nick says, uh, there's nothing for you to worry about, but Adam thinks that there's so much more. So let's talk about this mess over at Chancellor Winters because we're in Lily's office and she's talking to Jill about Devon and not letting him buy back his company. Jill feels bad that this whole thing has become the Devon show. His company, his feelings versus all those legal documents he signed. Lily says, though, it's complicated and a part of her gets why her brother want to pull out of this merger. Now, Jill assumed that it's the part that doesn't want to lose her father's company. Now, she wants to maintain that, but she's upset that she failed to keep her family together, says Lily. Now, Jill claims to know what it's like. She had a complicated history with John and Jack in business, and her ideas weren't always the best, and she learned to dust it off and focus on the task at hand. And she thinks Lily has a lot to be proud of and tells Lily not to focus on Devon. Now, Jill said this merger has been in the work for months. He just can't stop it. Jill goes on by saying, look, we offered him a lucrative buyout and he refused. He has zero legal standing, so why put them through this? 
Jill's sorry Lily caught in the middle, though. Jill allows her to rescue herself in the lawsuit, but Lily refuses. And she still wants to go forward also with Daniel Platform. And they can make a name for them in the gaming community. And Jill says, yes, we'll do it. So now we're over at Society, where Daniel sees Devon drinking and bends his ear about the gaming platform being his sole purpose for being. And now everything is in limbo. Devon says, well, you must have heard all that's going on with Chancellor Winters. And he asked if Daniel blamed him. And Daniel says, yes, he does. Devon takes the blame, but calls everything complicated. Now, Daniel gets it, but he needs this. And Devon says, well, you can go elsewhere, but Daniel wants to work with him and Lily. Now, Devon counters that he just wanted to work with Lily. Now, he thinks it's natural to gravitate, especially the people that you know. He thinks that they can move forward still, but Daniel doesn't see a guarantee. And while Devon recaps why he wants his company back, we see Lily eavesdropping as Daniel talks about Devon taking Lily for granted. Now, he says some kind words about Lily, who steps up with an apology because she was eavesdropping. Now, Devon then invites his sister to work with him. Where? At Hamilton Winters. And she's like, wait a minute, is this a loyalty test? And she's exasperated. She doesn't want to give up Chancellor to do that. And Devon says, yaha, that response right there just shows that it is about business to her and not about family. He took off seeming offended and of course lily tells daniel that jill okayed the launch for omega sphere and they embrace because yeah he's happy so then finally we see mariah and tessa walk to chancellor park in the snow and they're smooching they talk about the baby and she could be born in just a few days and she'll be the coolest kid with them as parents a dreamer and a fighter and she'll grow up with a lot of love tessa says that she will change their lives forever for the better and they snuggle and sit and list off baby items that they're going to need before the baby arrives sharon told tessa they're all Always need loads of birth cloths. Mariah calls her good at managing the list, and Tessa says there was one last thing that they need a baby name. And they look at baby names online, they agree, no laughter. But when Tessa offers Anushka, it makes Mariah crack up. She don't like Adele either. Now, Tessa says Everly, and Mariah likes that. Mariah also likes Emerson. And they like Wednesday too. And they realize they need to get her home and get to know her before they name her. Then they start joking that the baby could be late. And Tessa says, yeah, just like her mother. And Mariah says, yeah, Tessa, not her. And they laugh as they gently mock one another. And Tessa asks if it's okay to be terrified. And Mariah soothes her with it's completely normal. And then as they snuggle and talk about who the disciplinarian should be, Delphine calls and Mariah learns that she is in labor. They begin to freak out and they tell her that they will be there as soon as possible. Now, once Mariah gets off the phone, the two of them share a smooch. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Monday, February 6th, 2023. Stay tuned for the bold and the beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.